Ooh, it got steamy in here. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Beat Vegan because I'm Beat and I'm Vegan and today we're making my epic mashed potatoes. I have made many different versions of mashed potatoes over the years and I haven't found like the one that like blows my mind yet up until now. I found out the trick is russet potatoes. I've tried mashed potatoes with yellow potatoes, Yukon gold potatoes, but there's just something about russet potatoes that just makes it so delicious. Like it's my favorite. It's like the creamiest, fluffiest, ooh. Good time. So if you like the skin, you can also leave it in. It'll still be good. It just won't be as like smooth and fluffy. But Eddie loves having skins in his mashed potatoes. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be doing that today because it just, it's not as pretty. I'll leave all the ingredients in the blog post down below, recipe linked down there. So if you guys are wondering where the recipe is, it's on the blog post, thebeatvegan.com. I hope you guys make these mashed potatoes because they are legitimately the best mashed potatoes I've ever made. Period. So let's just get into the montage. My potatoes, they've been drained on the side here. We're gonna pop them in here. I'm gonna lose some, but that's okay. We're gonna need a potato masher. Now, one thing I wish I had was a potato ricer because that would get you the most consistently, evenly smooth potatoes with as little work as possible. I mean, obviously ricing the potatoes would be kind of work, but so with russet potatoes, especially starchy potatoes like these, um, the more you mix them, the gluier they get. So you want to reduce the amount of mixing. That's why I'm mashing these kind of dry first. Oh, I'm so excited. They're gonna get so fluffy and happy. So I have a half a cup of vegan butter right here. Put that in. Boom. You're gonna be like, that's a lot. Trust me, it's gonna get worse. And then I have about a whole tub of tofuti sour cream. Now you can make your own sour cream out of tofu if you want to. I don't feel like doing that. I'd rather just use this stuff. So this is the Tofuti sour cream whole tub. It is 340 grams of deliciousness. So we're just gonna use the entire tub. Delicious. Scrapey, scrapey. Out my little container for all you royalty soap watchers out there. Probably not a lot of you, but I like to watch soap videos because it makes me feel very relaxed. We're also gonna add garlic powder and onion powder about a half teaspoon of onion powder, half teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half cup of cheese. All right, so then we just mix it in. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mash it in. Efficiency, you know what I'm saying? That's it. All right, I'm just gonna give it a nice stir to make sure everything is kind of incorporated, but oh my God. Is she not the fluffiest mash you've ever seen? Oh, that's some good stuff. That is like quintessential mashed potato. Is that not? Oh. Mm. It is so fluffy. She does need salt though, just a little bit. I would say that's about a half teaspoon of salt, but especially if you're gonna douse this in gravy, which is something that I tend to do, you're not gonna need that much salt. There is some salt in the butter. She is a fluffy girl. I just wanna eat more. I didn't add salt to mine. Just a minute. A little salty salty, a little pepper pepper, you know what I'm saying? A little pepper pepper. I exposed Eddie for uh, not liking pepper and he's gotten a little, not mad, but like, he feels attacked. But who just doesn't like pepper? I don't get it. Pepper's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm -hmm. Like absolutely nobody is gonna eat this and be like, huh, it's missing cream, it's missing milk, it's missing butter. No, the most perfect mashed potatoes I've ever made. Oh my God, oh my God. So like I said, the best results come from minimal mashing, like as little mashing as possible because if you mash this too much, she gonna get gluey. That is so good. Mm! I just wanna eat this entire thing. <laughs> But I can't because I'm using it for a potluck. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, give it a like down below. If you guys want the full recipe and measurements, I'll leave it linked in the blog post down below. I've been sitting on this recipe for a while, but I made it for Friendsgiving and it like blew my mind. It's so good. I don't understand it. But yeah, basically the reason why we're using russet potatoes instead of yellow potatoes or another kind of potato, like white potatoes, is because there's a lower moisture content in this, which yields a fluffier mashed potato in the end. So, hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday. If you like mashed potatoes, you will love these because these are the quintessential, perfect, delicious, fluffiest, cloudiest, yummiest mashed potatoes. Oh God, I'm so excited to eat this. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are wondering what this is, what this situation is, it is a recipe coming soon. It'll probably be on the blog first though. I don't know why I'm getting so aggressive. I need to eat more. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want these recipes, they're always going to be on thebeabegan.com and I hope you guys have a delicious day. Mm. Gonna take a photo of this, post it on the blog. I'll see you guys in the next video.